Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie. So I figured like the best stereotypical video I could have in my first video on YouTube could be a tackle warehouse unboxing. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I participated in the classic sale. I participated in the classic sale, of course I did. Um, so there's some really great deals that uh, Tackle Warehouse did for the Bassmaster Classic. Oh, congratulations, Alt Defoe. You were on my fantasy fishing team, so thank you for winning. <laughs> so um, first off, we're going to start with the tackle box. So my dog's here also. It's looking at craziness, but this is a 10 pound box. Um, and I honestly can't remember what all I bought, so this will be fun. So, packaging and the gray tackle warehouse t-shirt. Um, so I guess we'll start with the jigs first. So first up we have a Pepper Custom Baits, um, it doesn't say the, uh, it doesn't say what color it is, um, color 301, but it really is just like a natural green with a bit of like red in there, oranges, very natural looking jig, uh, it is a half ounce, so I'm excited to use this football head of course, so there's that. We have the Omega Custom Tackle. Um, jig in the black and blue, football jig again, it doesn't say, three-fourths, so excited to use that. Um, and then another Omega uh, Custom Tackle, um, three-fourths in Table Rock. Uh, so I really like this color, it's natural but with like a bit of purple like frilly stuff, so that'll be fun. Um, moving on to term, <laughs> she's got the scissors, um, oh, she's she got the jig. She's got oh. the jig. <laughs> My sister is helping me, by the way, so big shout out to Riley for helping. Thanks. Um, so moving on to terminal tackle, I have some Gamagatsu trebles, uh, two times strong in size six. Um, I've actually never like had to change out my treble hook, so that's actually going to be really interesting because I know a lot of these baits have questionable quality, and my old cranks and stuff need to be changed out soon too. So not the Gamagatsu, so really trust them. They're very sharp, very reliable so um and then we also got some of these split rings to go with those um pro parts owned by owner so moving on uh booyah pad crasher in the color bullfrog um so since we're in mississippi uh the water color can be questionable at times very murky very dark and muddy so I typically tend to gravitate towards darker baits um, than I would lighter baits so I really like this color and how it goes black um, and then the dark green tail is really nice too so this was not on sale but everything else in this box I'm pretty sure is on sale except for this and a few other things which I'll name out but um yeah so I'm really excited to use this moving on to crankbaits and the plus so this is a long for hunt shocker and the color red hot, so 2.5 feet. Um, never actually used Lunker Hut before, but I'm really excited because they were extremely cheap with the classic sale. So um, it's floating, kind of like a, it was a square bill, so I'm really excited to try that. Um, another Lunker Hunt shot 2.5 foot in a green back. So this kind of looks like a bluegill, uh, which is generally what I tried to make my presentation look like. Uh, just because those are big fish here. So, yeah, really am excited to try this one as well. So, Greenback, Lunker Hunt. Um, and then I have another Lunker Hunt, um, Shock 2.5 foot. So, this is also, this is um, Silver Side. So, uh, again, darker presentation. Um, and I really, I do really just like the overall look of all three of these baits. So, I'm super excited to try this as well. Um, moving on, we have a Bagley Rattlin Killer B2. So I do believe that this is a balsa, and um, my granddad fished tournaments way back, and um, I took a lot of his baits when he got out of it back when I was a kid, and all of them were balsa wood. So this is kind of going back to my roots for that kind of stuff, so this is also a square bill. Um, I think we're looking at, what is this? It doesn't say, but it's like a green, like baby bass shad, almost like kind of like a sexy shad, I guess. Uh, dives three to four feet, three to eight ounce. Um, so yeah. Moving on, another Bagley Rattlin Honey B1. 
uh, in like a crawl color um, with the black back. So this is also balsa, just much, obviously, where'd it go? Much smaller than the B2. That's actually like an incredible difference between the B1 and the B2, but I'm excited to try both. Um, moving on to some soft plastics. Uh, these Excite Bates in the color Plumpkin, and if I'm Yes, so I bought these on the sale, and they're actually, I've never seen a worm look like this before. I would open them, but I don't want to, stop. I don't want to, um, open them yet, but they, their tail is, like, flimsy, but there's a ball at the end, so I don't know if that's going to float, or if that's going to, I know it's going to create more action, but I'm excited to see how these do. I'm going to really like the color, it's not like a June bug, it's like a red with blue flake, um, but the red is still dark enough to be able to be in murky water, so I really like these, I'm excited to use these. Um, these were not on sale, uh, they're Zoom Dead Ringer, I do have some Zoom Dead Ringers with the light blue tail, but these are the chartreuse tails, so I'm really excited to use these, and they're small enough, I do a lot of pond fishing, and a lot of times they just can't get large worms, so use the small ones, um, I really like this, the floppy tail action with the ridges too. So, here we go for the stuff that was not on sale, obviously. I did take the bait and got some Gugum baits. So first up is a Mondo worm um, in black and blue. Uh, I know I've seen all like John B and Lunkers use these, so I'm really excited to see how they do. I've actually never fished with a 10 inch worm before, so that's going to be really interesting to see how that works out. But um, I love the tails of these, looks like they'll have a lot of action, so super stoked to see how these do. Um, moving on, we have the... Trench hogs. So I'm planning on using these as trailers uh, and like biting the heads off with baby, you know, of course. But um, this is in black and blue. Uh, so really good coloring. I really appreciate how dark they are. Um, a lot of times when you get blacks, so they can be kind of see through if you're not careful. But these seem to be perfect. Um, more trench hogs in the color natural. Uh, again for jigging, but um, really like my dog is going crazy. Really like the color of these as well. Um, and then some bendy toe bugs. I already have some in Okeechobee Crawl that I got from Academy a few weeks, like right when they came out. I haven't used them yet, but these are in natural, so also very excited to see. I'm excited to see how the natural color works, because like, though, yes, like I know, like, oh, like, capital companies make natural colored stuff, you know, but like, for there to, if this is just so easy, and I know, like, people are saying, like, they pulled, you know, like, they stole the idea for some of these baits from other companies, which yes, is probably true, but I mean, of course, like, Walmart has rattle traps that aren't actually rattle traps, so you can't blame them. But, um, I do really like just how accessible these are and how easy they are to pick from them. I'm not, I don't feel like I have to, you know, oh, am I getting a, something that I can use as a trailer, or am I getting something that I can Texas rig, you know, like, it's very simple, very straightforward. So I really appreciate that about the Google baits, and I'm really excited to give them a try. So on to some line. This is the only line in my order. It's Yozuri Super Braid at 40 pounds. Um, I have, I think I have 15 pound on a rig downstairs, um, but I'm kind of looking for something a bit thicker because I think the 15, like, from what I got, is it like matches eight, um, eight pound monofilament, and it's just a little thin for my taste uh, with what I'm doing in Mississippi. So really excited to try this in dark green. Okay, so on to some of the reels that I got. Um, we'll look at this one first. So this is the Throttle by Quantum, um, 5, 2, and 1. So, get this open. Oh wow. I really, really love the coloring of this. It's uh, like matte black with like a space gray matte as well in the like red accents. I'm, I'm the kind of gal, I just really gravitate towards good looking equipment over equipment that might perform better. I don't, it's probably the girl in me of course, but I really do love how this looks. It's very, very pretty and it's very weighted. I love that. Um, I have a pres Fluger President spinning reel. Um, I think it's a size 30 and it's a bit big for my taste, so I'm really excited to give the 20 a try. Um, but yeah, I love this and it, it's a bit tight right off the bat. Oh, there we go. So. Yeah, I'm really excited to put some line on this and give it a try. Um, and then the handles in here. I'm a very too key about my handles too. I'm becoming, I'm becoming to realize I do really like cork handles. Um, and this feels it's nice. It's metal, which is good. This is also I got this for, I got for 25 or 30 bucks with the sale. So 
I'm not complaining about anything because this is like very good value real I feel like I can already tell without even having to cast it, it's going to be good value for what I got it for. Um, but the actual handle itself is like rubber, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I know that I, I know on Taco Warehouse they do have cork candles that you can buy um, and replace your own with so I'm probably going to end up doing that um, just because I prefer the cork. But uh, for 30 bucks, yeah this is really good, this is good quality uh, compared to like what you get at Walmart. So. Moving on to my other reel. This is the. Hope I can get it open. This is another quantum reel that I got through the sale. Um, I'm pretty sure that both of these reels, uh, um, maybe not the throttle, maybe just this one, are on clearance actually, so they're trying to get rid of them. But uh, this is the quantum icon. Uh, and it is a uh, six three to one. I'm fairly positive. I can find it. This is in the box. Yeah, six three one. And um, wow, is all I can say. Very smooth. In a very nice way. It's wow. Yeah. Um, plastic break right there. Uh. Plastic drag star and um, the handle's actually not too bad at all. It's uh, I guess it's like a foam, but with almost like a velvet coating. Um, I really love how smooth it is, and the uh, the button is actually plastic as well, which I'm not complaining. I'm planning on actually replacing my Abby Garcia Silver Max that I got with a combo uh, with this reel, and um, they look very similar. And I I personally love this. It's nice silver. Um, Looks good, looks good, but the uh, the guide is plastic as well, so watch out for that. This cost me about $59, I think, um, but it looks really nice overall, and it feels really nice too, so I'm excited to break that up. Um, here, why don't we just show you her? <laughs> this is Lychee, my dog, that's trying to eat all the fishing stuff, so. Um, okay, so now we'll move on to the rods, because that is all I have for tackle, so. This box, I can guarantee you there is not a rod in here that is as long as this box is. So, kudos to Taco Warehouse for being awesome, yet very unnecessary. Okay, now that we got that unboxed, um, this is the... Daiwa, um, Daiwa, Air X71, medium heavy. So, uh, first impressions, wow. Um, this is one of the nicest looking rods I think I've ever seen. Uh, it's like a brown, but it's like, I'll, I'll insert clip here. This is incredible. I personally really love this. I love the metal eyes and the color contrast. I love the bindings. It just looks all around very sleek and it's fairly sensitive I'd say. Um, the tip doesn't give away too much which I personally like. I do uh, the other rod that I have for my spinning gig, uh, rig is a Berkeley Lightning Rod uh, 6.6 six medium I think and it's just a little flimsy for my taste. Um, this bad boy does not seem flimsy at all, so really excited. I'm going to actually just go ahead and throw this throttle on there and see what it looks like. The color contrast is a bit different, but uh, overall this actually doesn't feel too bad. It is a bit odd to not have padding right there, but I think I could manage. Um, Feels nice though. So, it's cool. Alright, oh, and I also, one more thing. I absolutely love these hook keepers right here, the ones that are like the loops, not the one that you have to put the hook through. It's so much more efficient. You don't get the barb stuck. All rod companies need to get this. Insert clip here. What I'm talking about. Alright, to the next rod. This is an. Okuma, I believe. I don't remember what the model was. Um, 
Reflections uh, also got it with this sale. Really help. of this rod. Um, definitely not as sleek looking as the Daiwa, I must say, although it was a hefty bit less. Um, actually looks really nice though. I'm, I'm comparing all of these to Berkeley Lightning rods, so keep that in mind. Um, but all in all, yes, very, very nice. Um, I love the quit. I love the brown. Um, look in the bindings on these. I could use like some gold. They've got some like gold bindings added here and with the hook, which is a uh, your natural insert hook here, um, which I'm not complaining or anything, of course. But uh, feels nice. Um, I read some reviews that this little handle piece right here is a bit short, but I have tiny hands, so it works. Um, I actually really like how this rod feels. Uh, action wise, it is a bit flimsier, I will say. Um, than I was expecting, which is no big deal because lightning rod is much more flimsy. But um, overall, I really like this. I wonder if it tells us if it's uh, regular glass or not. Um, that doesn't matter. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this quantum drill on there. We can see how it looks. The real seats on both of these uh, rods are very, very nice, I will say. So this actually looks pretty sleek on there. Um, I actually really like this, how this looks. Um, again, just really smooth now that I use it more. It's probably going to take some fine tuning though to get right where I want it. But um, yeah, overall, I really vibe with this. Um, so yeah, so. This is my Taco Warehouse unboxing. Um, figured out how to just get it out of the way. There will probably be more to come, but um, outro, outro here. Thank you so much for watching my video. Stay tuned for more. I'll probably post very irregular, irregularly and very inconsistently, but that is going to be my own fault. But yeah, stick around for more. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever it is you guys do, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.